Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, and today I'm going to be starting a new Let's Play of Alan Wake for the Xbox 360. One of my all-time favorite games ever made. I, it's definitely in my top 10. Um, what Alan Wake is, it's a psychological thriller uh, with fantastic atmosphere, great writing, great story. Uh, so you guys will be thoroughly entertained through the whole thing, I guarantee you. Um, it's that time of year, October, uh, at the time of this, you know, playthrough uh, play of the game. So I figured it was fitting, you know, October, Halloween, kind of creepy vibe. Uh, this game is by no means a horror game, however, uh, I figure it's close enough and it's probably a great time of year to play through this game. So, without further ado, let's get started. Um, I'll play on normal, because I feel like that's the best way to represent the game without you know, dying a lot. And I could probably handle hard, but we're going to stick with normal for this playthrough. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. <gasps> Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Okay, here we are. Gameplay. Uh, let's turn on the subtitles first of all. Uh, I feel like most people like subtitles. Uh, if you don't, hopefully it doesn't bother you too much. But for me, who I can't play the volume that loud, otherwise it'll get caught in the mic. It helps me. Uh, so hopefully you guys are okay with that. It's also one of the best looking games in 360. It holds up really well. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. All right, let's go check it out. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't like. Oh my God, he's here. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff, play with people's lives, and kill them when you think it? Oh boy. Okay, let's run. <laughs> let's run. Go, go. Run, Alan, run. Joke. It would be a readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories. Because I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. 
I don't know what you're talking about, pal, but you are creeping the hell out of me. You missed your deadline! Dodge the attack. All right. Oh, there we go. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? And cue the scary frickin' tornado. Run. Run, run, run. Get to the lighthouse. I will do that. Sounds like a plan. Run, Howlin', don't get tired on me. Come on! Please change the channel. Oh my goodness. The cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. Okay, how do I get out? Where's the door? There's, there's, there's the door, but where's the d open door? Oh, light, you look promising. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. If you couldn't understand, uh, this game's well done. kind of running theme is light versus dark. It goes like this, for he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Thank you, light god. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Again, thank you, Light God. Now you Good. You've 
done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. I think we should get there then. You made me this way, and now I'm going to Uh-uh. I got firepower now. I <laughs> see ya. Oh, oh. Okay. You gotta hit off me. I admit it. Oh boy. Combat's pretty straightforward in this game. Uh, ideally, the enemy's gonna have a uh, a shield over them, and you you eradicate that shield by light. And obviously, you can see we have new toys to work with in terms of light. We have a flare gun, which is basically a last resort kind of gun. Um, I prefer to save that for when I'm surrounded. At least I think I did. Um, it's been a few years Just since I played this game. Like a lot of this is... Oh, here's a good time. Booyah! As you can see, a very powerful, very strong weapon against the dark. Use sparingly. Time to run, time to run. Oh god. Oh, that's just not fair. Alan, run faster! You're getting tired already! Oh my gosh. Ooh, a collectible. Not the best time to grab it, but I'm gonna grab it. Oh shit. Uh, I'm not gonna go for all the collectibles in the game. I'm just, uh, I just saw it. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Nice change in scenery, if you ask me. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. 
Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying it. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Ellen Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you do have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, Ben Seller. How's my yep. favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. I love Barry. He's such a cool character. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. Okay. I've got all of your books. I so got we've met a fan already. When they took Super it out fan. The <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, <clears throat> okay. Good for you. Uh, right. So much for a quiet Try vacation. Just don't blame me when you fall in love. Uh, what can I say? I'm famous, baby. Famous the writer. The here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Let's see what these old geezers are doing. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I love these two. I do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Just are listen to the song they like. Coconut again. I'll play in a second. You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! All right. You put the lime in the coconut. Drink them both up. Just because <laughs> we're brothers, don't think it I won't that, murder you stuck. in your sleep. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Yes, that's my favorite tune. Coconut! Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Put the lime in the coconut and shake it all up. <laughs> uh, I love old people. 
Oh, I didn't see that thermos there. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. What door is he in? I'm guessing the men's room. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. <laughs> He's like, okay, creepy lady. I don't know about you guys, but I would... The second this lady's like, come stay at my cabin, Cold I'll be like, nope. Place. Very inspiring. See ya. Driving back home. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed. She's petting a lamp. Remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> Splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells up like a balloon if I lift it and the heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid! It's been a long time gone. Good to see you. Good to get that all up. I wish. Okay, well that was interesting. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. All right, well, thank you all for your help, but it's time that I got back to my wife, and she, there she is. Goodbye, Rose. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Uh-oh. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It's pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. 